Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the Caribbean. It is Wednesday evening, July 12, 2023. Now before I jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know whether there has been liking your ear recently. Also feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific area. I respond to all comments and I really live for this stuff. Alright, so let us take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening. We can see that for the most part the southwestern Atlantic and the northern Greater Antilles is being dominated by high pressure domes that are responsible for bringing a lot of warm temperatures across the region especially across Jamaica here for the last two days Tuesday into Wednesday and that will be pushing its way westward making way for more you know average to slightly below average temperatures so it's basically just a hot spell where we basically have warm temperatures or very hot temperatures as some might say for a short period of time across portions of the central and eastern caribbean we still have the tropical wave that's still pushing its way westward and it should be starting to affect sections of jamaica on thursday in to friday we also have two more tropical waves across sections of the main development region taking a look at the visible satellite images before the sun went down we can see the clouds associated with that tropical wave that's bringing some amount of overcast sky showers and thunderstorms to sections of hispaniola here to the dominican republic puerto rico and sections of the u.s and british virgin islands at this time it's these clouds that will be making their way westward to bring some amount of rainfall to sections of jamaica on thursday and spilling into friday as well we can also see the clouds associated with those two tropical waves right one right here across the waters to the northeast of french guyana northeast of south america and another one right there off the west coast of africa we'll be talking more about the caribbean's weather later on let's focus our attention on what happened across jamaica for today so we can see that for the most part we had a mostly kind of northeasterly flow of winds and clouds across the island bring some partly cloudy skies maybe some cool conditions across sections of some northern parishes with that wind coming in from the northeast so the southern parishes weren't getting that brisk wind at all which explains the heat and then in the evening hours we saw that we had a buildup of clouds across sections of saint elizabeth right there that might have brought in some amount of overcast skies and isolated showers Taking a look at the temperatures for this evening, we can see that we have 29 degrees Celsius in Kingston and 28 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay. It's definitely going to be another hot night similar to what we experienced yesterday. Temperatures won't be getting much lower than 28 or 27 degrees at most. Let us take a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow. We can see that we have some slight consensus. This is 18D on Thursday. This is 1 p.m. on Thursday. And we see that we have some amount of clear colors right there across especially eastern Jamaica for that time on Thursday that represents average temperatures. The average temperatures for the month of July is about 91 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about the equivalent of 32.5 degrees Celsius. So we see the slightly above normal temperatures across sections of central western Jamaica with all of those yellow and orange shades. But due to that tropical wave, the eastern side will start to, you know, get in on some of that average temperatures. Then most of that will be spilling its way westward. Taking a look at the dry air map. Right now we can see that the dry air is represented by the yellows and the oranges and the reds. And the whites within those reds as represented by the key at the bottom. We can see that Jamaica is embedded in some yellows and some orange. We can also see that the driest is right there of the northwestern coast of Africa associated with the Saharan dust. As it relates to the forecast for the Saharan dust, we can see that we're going to be getting in on a break for Jamaica for 2 p.m. on Thursday with more blue shades. That's due in part by that tropical wave that will be entering portions of the island tomorrow. So we have more in the way of moist air, less dry air. We know that the saran dust is represented by all of those beige, brownish kind of shades. And the darkest browns right there represent the most 
intense plumes of dust and we hope that it doesn't make its way westward into the Jamaica era or that most of it dissipates by the time it gets here. Let's just take a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow. 12 p.m. on Thursday shows that we should be having more blues surrounding the island that represent 1.5 meter wave height or less. We can see that we have some purples off to the east only on the Euro model that represent up to 2 meter wave height and that's due to the fact that we're going to be receiving some strong winds off the east coast of the island as we see by those yellow shades that represent 25 knot winds while the rest of the island should be receiving anywhere from 15 to 20 knots coming in from the east and we can also see that all of that era will be piling up across sections of some inland areas of some central and western parishes. So if there's some afternoon rainfall in store, especially brought about by that tropical wave, it will favor more western parishes, West Milan, Hanover, and inland areas of some central parishes. Either way, with the wind coming in from the east, more of that rainfall from the tropical wave will be coming in from off the sea, coming into sections of St. Thomas and Portland, maybe spilling its way into sections of St. Mary, St. Anne, and maybe, hopefully, sections of Kingston and St. Andrew and St. Catherine, hopefully, even although majority of these tropical waves keep drying out by the time it gets there, hopefully you guys get in on some of that rainfall. And we're going to be having some upper level winds coming in from the northeast for tomorrow. So that might favor more of the southern or southwestern parishes in Jamaica. So maybe Hanover, not Hanover, Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth, Manchester might get in on some of that afternoon convection with the cloud cover with that all of that cumulonimbus nimbus clouds being pushed off towards the southwest. Taking a look at the precipitation forecast for tomorrow. We can see that as early as tonight, this is 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually 11 p.m. Jamaica time, we see some blues that represent rainfall across sections of some eastern parishes, St. Thomas, Portland, spilling into sections of St. Mary. And we see the consensus on both the Euro and the GFS model. We see both of the maps, the Euro model and the GFS model showing the same thing. And as usual, when they are showing the same thing like this, the chances of it actually happening are much higher. Skipping ahead to a couple hours later, this is 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually 5 a.m. Jamaica time. And we see more of the same, more blues as affecting sections of eastern and northeastern parishes in, across the island. So more in the way of St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland, and St. Thomas. We see more whites across Kingston and St. Andrew and St. Catherine, sadly. Skipping ahead to about 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually 10 a.m. Jamaica time. We see the Euro being more robust, showing more blues across southern parishes, St. Elizabeth, Manchester, Clarendon, St. Catherine, Kingston and St. Andrew, but we don't see that for the same time on the GFS mall. We see some slight blues right there across sections of St. Andrew. That's the only consensus there for Kingston, blues, but we see much of the same for sections of St. Thomas and Portland still receiving some amount of rainfall, so that's a bit more believable to think that St. Thomas and Portland will be getting in on more of the rainfall brought about by the tropical wave. Skipping ahead now to about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually 3 p.m. Jamaica time. Now we see some drastic differences. Look at the Euro model. The Euro is being more robust, showing more blues that represent rainfall across sections of eastern, central, and western Jamaica. That's St. Thomas, Portland, Kingston, St. Andrew, St. Mary, St. Anne, St. Catherine, Clarendon, Manchester, St. Elizabeth, Westmoreland, Hanover, St. James. Don't see much across Trelawney. But that's just the Euro. What does the GFS show? The GFS shows some blues across sections of St. Thomas and Portland and sections of some western parishes, including St. Elizabeth, Westmoreland, Hanover, St. James, and sections of Trelawney. So we do see some slight agreement, some consensus with eastern and western parishes, but the Euro is overdoing the central parishes a bit much. Manchester, Clarendon, St. Catherine, don't think that will be happening, especially considering that GFS is showing something quite opposite. And if we take a look at the accumulated precipitation forecast, we can see that we have more in the way of rainfall to receive across sections of eastern Jamaica. That's the consensus. Even although the rainfall totals are not that quite robust, only up to 0 0.31 of an inch of rainfall on the Euro. 
the GFS not so much and the GFS is showing more rainfall across sections of western Jamaica and keep in mind that both of these accumulated precipitation maps go all the way up until 10 p.m. on Thursday so we definitely have some amount of rainfall to receive on Thursday across the island of Jamaica hopefully the tropical wave is you know beneficial to some persons who are you know in dire need of that cool temperature and that rainfall hopefully it you know put some kind of a dent in the drought and we're indeed grateful for the rainfall that we're going to be receiving we're actually in the month of july we're in one of the driest months of the year we usually receive some of the least amount of rainfall across the island for the month of july so any rainfall that we get this month is much welcome all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let's focus our attention on the rest of the caribbean so we can see a lot of clouds bring rainfall to sections of Florida, sections of the southern U.S., sections of Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama as usual, sections of the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, sections of the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, not to mention sections of the Leeward Islands, so maybe Antigua, Barbuda, St. Bart's. And if we actually take a look at the Doppler radar images, Considering that Doppler radar images show the actual rainfall as opposed to satellite images that show cloud cover. And we know that we can have cloud cover over an area not necessarily rainfall. We know that the greens represent the light to moderate rainfall. The yellows represent heavy rainfall. And the oranges and reds, and you know, mean some intense amount of rainfall. We can see some rainfall across sections of Dominican Republic at this time. And we can also see that Puerto Rico indeed got a small amount of rainfall for today. We can see more rainfall across sections of the British Virgin Islands, St. Martin, St. Kitts, sections of St. John's got on some rainfall today, Guadeloupe, sections of Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda. We can also see that we had a lot of rainfall coming into sections of southwestern Puerto Rico for today as well. Taking a look at the Barbados radar, we don't see much across sections of Barbados for today. Where we see the rainfall, however, is heading into sections of Trinidad and Tobago, Eastern Trinidad, sections of Tobago, sections of Grenada, maybe sections of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, gotten on some amount of rainfall for today as well. And if we take a look at the water view of Doppler radar images, we can see that rainfall across sections of the Bahamas, Florida, sections of Guatemala, as mentioned, as we saw on the satellite images, Honduras, sections of Belize, and we can also see some rainfall across sections of Suriname. Taking a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow, both maps from the year and the GFS are showing 1 p.m. on Thursday, and we still see a lot of above normal temperatures stretching from the Eastern Caribbean to the Gulf of Mexico. We do see, however, some amount of disagreement with the below normal temperatures as indicated by the blues across sections of the Leeward Islands for 1 p.m. on Thursday, while the your model is showing something different above normal temperatures with only the areas to the east of the leeward islands showing some amount of average to slightly below average temperatures taking a look at the Saharan dust forecast we can see that for the most part the central caribbean where jamaica is located including haiti cuba that's where the least amount of dust will be located we see some slight hazy weather across sections of the southern gulf of mexico the yucatan belize honduras cuba sections of the bahamas while we're going to see more in the way of that saran dust pushing its way westward because that's affecting sections of the central and eastern caribbean right behind that tropical wave right now so we see that puerto rico for 2 p.m on wednesday and more most of the leeward and windward islands should be getting in on some hazy weather associated with the saran dust for tomorrow taking a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow we can see some slight purples right there to the south of jamaica to the south of haiti and uh, that's due to the fact that those spots will be receiving the strongest winds as indicated by those yellow shades that represent 25 knot winds while the rest of the caribbean should be receiving 1.5 meter wave height or less not to mention section of florida where that high pressure heat dome is located at this time less than one meter wave heights across that spot as indicated by those lighter shades of blues while the winds will be coming in at around 10 to 20 knots at most across majority of the caribbean with the exception of florida where we're going to be having some record heat with those blues that represent less than five knot winds taking a look at the rain forecast for tomorrow 
we can see that we have some amount of rainfall in the forecast if they're not already receiving the rainfall right now they're going to be receiving it from now up until 10 p.m. on Thursday not all the way through but they're definitely going to be receiving rainfall and we see those rays that represent up to an inch of rainfall across sections of Florida, sections of southeastern Cuba, sections of Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico associated with that tropical wave, sections of Jamaica. We see that on the Euro and the GFS as well. We can also see that we have some more rainfall to receive across sections of Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, sections of Venezuela, sections of Suriname. Not to mention sections of Guyana and French Guyana. We can also see some rainfall across sections of Trinidad and Tobago and maybe even sections of the ABC Islands might get in on a sprinkle of rainfall, especially sections of Curacao right there. And we know that when both maps are showing the same thing like this, when there's consensus, when there's agreement, the chances of it actually happening are much higher. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.